All right, now check this out, y'all. Now, before I get started, I need y'all to understand something. You have greatness within yourself. You have dormant ability. You have potential. You have a gift. You got something great inside you. And everybody won't like that. Yes, sir. Everybody won't like your favor. Everybody won't like your ability. Everybody won't like the things that you have inside you that you can do and that they can't. But see, the funny thing is, is that they got something that they can do way better than you. But see, they so focused on your grind. Yes, sir. They so focused on what you got going on. Yes, sir. And they so focused on your talent and your gift to where they can't even see the light that they got. See, we was all blessed with the light. It's like many was called, but few was chosen. And the fact that you answered your call, people hate the fact that you became chosen. See, God called them, he called them, he called him, he called her, him. But see, the, the problem is they get mad at you because you answered your call. Yes, sir. And see, what happens is people rather not tell you how good you're doing. People rather not tell you how great you're doing. But people going to copy every single thing that you do. And see, they become in competition with not you, but your greatness. They become in competition with not you, but your gift. See, they want to prove to you and everybody else who like you and love you and serve you that I can do what they do, but better. Yes, sir. See, they think that they can do whatever you do, but better. But see, what happens is you're going to fall down. You're going to fail a hundred million times trying to be Reno, right? I fail a hundred million times trying to be Nipsey Hussle, RIP, right? But when you, when you be your authentic self, when you be who you truly are, right? Like so many people, many of us, man, we try to be like everybody else. It's, I, man, I can't tell y'all how many rappers in the game trying to be like him because he popping. And then when this type of style of rap go out and they, and, and they stop popping, then guess what? Guess what's going to happen? Now you're going to start trying to be like this particular rapper. It's just like the music industry. Man, I'll never forget. I remember when it was strictly snap. Everybody was snapping. Uh, everybody was snapping. Uh, laughing taffy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, lean with it, rock with it. You know, party like a rock star. You know, start transitioning, but it was still like a certain type of snap sound. Boom, right? Then you go from snap, right? I want to say it was crump then snap, and then after snap, it went to another vibe. Like, start, everybody start making dances. Everybody making dances. You got Soldier Boy. He making the dance. Crank that Batman. Crank that Homeless Man. Crank whatever. You got all these type of different dances, but it's a, it's, it's going according to the competition in the market. Okay, this popping. Let me do that. This popping. Let me do that. So then, now we get into the, the harmonizing and singing. Everybody starts singing on their records, right? Wayne popped it off. Now, it was an artist by the name of Devin the Dude. I don't know if y'all know. Devin the Dude, he was actually doing some harmonizing and singing, but he didn't popularize it. He didn't stamp it. The person who stamped it, it was, to me, in my in my, in my my era and in my generation, I think that it's out of Lil Wayne and Drake, right? Because Drake, because Lil Wayne started singing with, uh, with the prostitute record, and then Drake came in and stamped it. Drake actually stamped it, but I think I think Wayne did it first. But what I'm saying is, is that according to the competition in the market, that's the type of things that people do. So everybody start copying what's hot. Everybody start copying another person's gift. Everybody start copying what everybody like. And that's the same thing with you. People are copying everything that you do. Yes, sir. People are copying everything that you do. They watch what you do. See, they won't tell you that they won't tell you that, that, that they're looking up to you. They won't tell you what you're doing good. They won't tell you that you got something good going on. They ain't going to tell you that. In fact, they're going to come off real jealous. They're going to come off real uh, envious. They're going to come off real insecure. It's almost like you can't even have a civilized conversation with them. Without them feeling like you are trying to flinch your, your flat on me. Right? So without any further ado, y'all, I want to get into the five signs, right? I just had to let y'all know as an introduction of like, don't feel bad that this is happening to you. It happened to the it happens to the best of us. It happened to me, right? It, it just got there happening to me. And it's never gonna stop. It's gonna keep going. So watch this, y'all. I need y'all to tune in, tune in, tune in. So number one, right? Your success equals their downfall. 
Your success equals their downfall. So, Reno, make that make sense for me. How do my success equal their downfall? So, whenever you get a promotion, they feel like they failed. Whenever you get some money, they feel like they broke. And they probably got money inside their bank. But you done got you a $20,000 PPP loan. Yes, sir. You done got you a $20,000 PPP loan. And they over here getting a check for the rest of their life. Yes, sir. They over here, they, they got money that's coming in. But they mad at you because that little PPP loan you got. They mad at you because you done made you a little bad. They mad at you. See, your success equals their downfall. It don't matter how high in life they are. It don't matter what they doing. It don't matter where they going in life. It don't matter, it don't matter if they travel five, ten different countries. The fact that you done went to this one particular country that they haven't went to, they feel like they failed. They feel like they failed. So I need you to understand, when people look at your success and, they, and, and they're not clapping, they're not happy for your success, then they look at it as a downfall. They look at it as a downfall. Next one, number two, y'all. It's a must to outshine you. Let me say that one more time. It's a must to outshine you. They got to be better uh, than you in anything that you do. This is a true sign of competition. They got to be better than you in anything that you do. So it don't matter if you did this, this particular thing, I'm going to do it better. It don't matter if, if you did this over here, I'm going to do it better. People have to out, they have to outshine you to prove that they are better. So with that being said, let me, let, let me give you an example, right? If you write five books, they got to write 10. If you get two cars, they got to get four. If you if you get a, a, a girlfriend that's an eight, they got to get somebody that's a nine or a ten. See, it's a must to outshine you. They're out on a they out on a mission to show that hey, I'm better than such and such. So y'all need to come over here and get with me. Hey, I'm better than I'm better than this particular person. Y'all need to come over here and get with me. No. And see, if you got a friend like this, this, this can be very dangerous. If you have a friend like this, it, it can be uh, very dangerous me, uh, being the fact that if this friend is around you in your circle, ain't no telling what they'll do. Ain't no telling what they'll do. Number one, it's already negative energy. It's like it's covered up in positivity. And it's so negative, even though they try to uh, put positivity in there, it still come off like you really not happy for me, bro. Or you really not happy for me, sis. You don't really care what I got going on, huh? Okay. But you still want to sit around. Yes, sir. They want to sit around you just so they can suck up all your sauce. They want to suck up all your sauce. They want to suck up every single tactic, every move, anything that you're doing because it's a must to outshine you. I need y'all to tune in. Now, the third one, y'all. They use you to get past you. Yes, sir. Y'all listen to what I'm saying. They use you to get past you, meaning they need your information. They need your resources and the people that you know. Yes, sir. Listen, people who are who, who's in competition with you, right? They need everything that you got plus more to get past you. I was listening uh, to something with uh, Andrew Tate, right? Andrew Tate was like, people, look, you can make money. You can make money, but you have to first understand how to how so you got to pay attention to whenever someone's taking your money right so when the person's taking your money pay attention if you if you want to make money pay attention to how other people take your money right so what he was saying was is that in the midst of that understand their SWOT analysis their strengths their weaknesses their risk and opportunities so if you get money from a person and this person is saying if you if you go into a store, let's say you go to a Starbucks and you paying attention to their strengths, weaknesses, risk, and opportunity, right? Once you pay attention to that, you can now understand how to compete with them. And when you compete with them, you can possibly put them out of business. Right? And the people who are who are in competition with you, they have the same mindset. Let me do everything that they're doing plus more, and possibly I can take them out of business. So the pro so I don't have a problem with this if this is a, uh, a complete stranger. Now, here's the thing. Us having a black community and a black culture, no, nah, we sh really shouldn't be competing at all. We should inspire one another. We done been down already. They done bumped, they done bumped us to keep us away, to, to break down what we had. Uh, they done mentally programmed us. I mean, there's so many different things, so we shouldn't be in competition either way. But 
I will feel better if it's, this is a particular stranger or ain't just a random stranger, right? And they come in your life and trying to compete with you or they see what you're doing and try to put you out of business. But when you this a friend, when this is a family member, a person you've been knowing for years, a person who you've been knowing since you was a kid, yay high. Or sometimes not even they high. But you've been knowing them for years though. And this person turned out to be in secret competition. It's a whole nother feeling. It's a whole nother feeling because you thought that, man, you seen my growth. You seen what I've been doing. You seen the hard work I've been putting in. You seen why I went. You seen the nights I cried. You seen what I went through. And you still competing with me. You, you're not a friend. You're an enemy. And that's what I need you to understand. So people who are competing with you, they they want to use you to get past you. They want to. They, they, I'm talking about your information, your resources, the people you know. I had this friend, right? I had this friend, and we went to we went to college together. And when and when we went to college together, you know, what I'm we we clicked up. We was kind of clicked tight. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm 18 at the time. I got my LLC. You know, I got my LLC. I got four music videos. I mean, I'm on my business. I got my business straight. You feel me? I got my business straight. So it's like, he looking at this like, dang, that's what's up. But see, jealousy is only love and hate at the same time. So at first, he was all love. He wasn't that close to my life. But see, when you befriend a person and you start moving forward with the person and year after year after year go by, you begin to come fun to this person. You begin to get used to this person. And when you get used to this person, now it's like, ah, oh, you just such and such. Or, ah, oh, you just such and such. Right? So when you start getting used to this person, you stop really paying attention to their light. Or you stop being able to appreciate their light. And I ain't trying to make myself, uh, I ain't trying to up myself, y'all. Like, I will really take accountability. But for me, I've always, no matter how close I got to a person, I always show the person I appreciate them. Now, just naturally as a human being maybe i don't do it as much but i know for a fact that i never was i've never been jealous of a person never been jealous never been envious i always appreciate somebody if i see somebody with a lambo it just inspire me if i see somebody with a bentley it just inspire me if i see somebody become successful or become a multi-millionaire it just inspire me but i never become jealous or want to compete with someone but it was the opposite it was on the opposite end so as we get in but, you know, we, 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 years are passing by. We done got cool. I, you know, I start I started doing my, my TikTok and building my platform. And when I know, I was like, yo, bro, in three weeks, I got 10,000 followers. I'm like, yo, bro, I got 10,000 followers, bro. We're going up. Oh, that's what's up. Nice. Change the subject. I'm like, man, is bro kind of jealous of me? Like, really? Like, is he jealous of something? So, you know what? No, maybe it's me. Let me set myself aside. Got to like 30,000, right? Bro, at hey, 30,000 followers, man, they, they loving me, bro. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we going up. Nice. That's what's up. They ain't really saying nothing too much. I'm like, okay, cool. Eventually, I just stopped talking to him. I just stopped talking to him about it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just started peeping the vibes. I was like, okay, I get it. You, you want to be in this position. You want to be where I am. You want to do what I'm doing. But see, the problem is you can't and you not, Right? Now watch this. So the fact that I'm doing this particular, I'm, I'm building up my platform, I'm doing all these things, I'm starting to notice the energy. So I stop, you know, I stop, I stop, I stop doing it. Next thing you know, I lie to you not, y'all. I was doing like the five reasons, five signs, all that. That's what I do. That's what I do. that's I went viral multiple times doing that. Right, I got other videos where I'm just regularly talking, and they do, you know, good numbers, hundred thousand. But I went viral doing five reasons, five whatever. I see this fool in the literally doing everything that I've done from being in his car, from me being in my car. He emulated every single thing. I see, I see him in the video like this. I'm like, this fool done copied my whole style. I'm talking about. This dude is literally trying to be me. You done took all the information that I gave you. You done took all the resources that I gave you. You done took any, everything I gave you and you utilized it for yourself. You trying to use what I gave you to get past me. But it'll never work because what's for me is for me. And what's for him is for him. But I, but I give y'all that story to let you know. 
People will literally try to copy you or people will try to take all the information, resources, and the people that you know to get past you or to get to where you are. Next one, y'all. Number four. They copy everything that you do. And that kind of go back to what I was just saying, right? They copy, they copy every single thing that you do. So once they get your information, knowledge, you know, uh, people that you know, all those type of things, they are literally copying your moves. They won't tell you what you're doing. Or every now and then they be like, man, they may be like, man, that's what's up, man. Good job, or whatever. But they don't really mean it. It's not coming from a genuine place. They just looking at what you're doing and trying to see how it can benefit themselves. They looking at what you're doing to see how they can implement it and try to capitalize on what you're doing. And see, once they do it, and let's let's just say if they did something great or did something good, they gonna literally plagiarize what you did. They're going to plagiarize it. They're going to take credit. They're going to take credit for something that they copied out for you. Even when you was in school, right? Even when you was in school, yes, sir, you had to cite your work. You had to show where you got your information from. Was it the, was it the encyclopedia? Did you read Martin Luther, Mark, uh, Martin Luther King book? Did you read Malcolm X autobiography? What book did you read? You had to source it. And they're not going to source it. They're going to copy what you do. And they're going to plagiarize it. Said that I did it. And then probably cut you off. Or, and, and, or then, act like, oh, man, he ain't my homie. Nah, bro, you just sucked up all the sauce and walked off. You flies, you fake. Get away from me. Stay where you are. And people, when people are in competition with you, that's what they're doing. So that's why I say it's really it's more dangerous when you got people in your circle like this. When you got people in your circle like this, it, it's, it's a little dangerous. Now, when you got people on the outside, cool. Let haters be haters. Let them do what they do. You know, um, like my boy Wallow say, they're your street marketing team. They're your promotion team. Let them talk about you. It is what it is. Like Easy e say, all publicity is good publicity. So it don't even matter. Let them talk. Let them do what they do. But when you set in trends, people are going to start copying you. All right, y'all. And number five, number five, they can't stand when you win. Right? They cannot stand when you win. See, your win equals their loss. Right? Very similar to the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Your success equals their downfall. But here's the difference. So, they can't stand when you win. So, when you do win, meaning when you do get a house, they look at, they probably got a big house. They look at it like, hey, hey, man, I need, I need to get me a, I need to get me a bigger one. Man, I hate, why, why you keep winning? Why you keep winning? And, and some people literally hate the fact that you winning. Some people hate the fact that you winning. I mean, you can simply just have graduated school. You won. Anytime you accomplish something, that's a win. Bottom line. If you said that I'm going to start this and then you finished it, you won. That's a win. People hate the fact that you started something and you, and you keep going. You keep finishing. You starting and you finishing. You starting and you finishing. People hate that. So the fact that you keep winning, they feel they feel like they're failing. And another thing too, they probably haven't got as far as you in the same thing that you're doing. They haven't got as far as you. So a person can uh, look at you all day, but the fact that you actually doing what they're trying to do and you becoming successful at it, that make a person mad. Oh yeah, they have a person, they have a person spirit boiling. Like, who do you think you are? How can you, how dare you chase your dreams and, and I'm not chasing mine? Or how dare you prevail and I'm not prevailing? How dare you win and I'm not winning? No, I need you to be right here. Actually, most people want you below them. So as long as they right here and you right here, it's cool. They'll befriend you, right? Because they, they, they always going to feel superior to you. But when you show a person that, no, you're not superior to me. We are mates. We're friends. Legit, right? Legit. Then sometimes people tend to shy away because they want to be on top of you. Some people want to see you do good, but not better than them, right? It was okay as long as you was down here and they was up here. But the fact that you got right here, you too close to them. They need you a couple notches down. You right, you too close to them. And some people simply don't like that. Right. So, man, those are the five signs that people are in secret competition with you. People are in secret competition with you. Don't let them fool you. 
Pay attention to the signs because they going to show them. Pay attention to what they're saying. Pay attention to the verbiage. Pay attention to their words. Pay attention to how they act, their actions. Pay attention to what they're doing. They're going to show. It's going to show. If you're on the pathway to success, keep going. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody detour you. And don't let nobody distract you. You got greatness inside you. Dormant ability. But I need you to tap into that dormant ability and reach further than your potential. Go Reach for the stars because the sky is not the limit. And no matter who is who is in competition with you, nobody, no matter who's copying you, always look at it as a compliment. If you're competing with me, then that's a compliment to me. Because what I'm saying is most people, Yes, sir. Most people, when they see what you got going on, they going to try to copy you. Most people rather compete with you than eat with you. I need y'all to tune in to my books. I need y'all to make sure y'all check out the clothing line. If you want to become an author, hit the link in the bio. Everything is in the bio. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. And hey, look, I need y'all to keep a rich mentality. Peace.